We're hearing a lot about solar flares and about things heating up and the sun is doing some really interesting stuff. But the great central sun is actually said to be a sun that's coming from inside of the earth as opposed to up in the sky. A long time ago, the earth used to be within the orbit of the great central sun, but due to many, many falls in consciousness, the earth came out of alignment. Well, what is the great central sun? The great central sun holds more of a magnetic vibration. Right now, humans are electromagnetic beings, but we weren't always electromagnetic. Over many a millennia, much etheric manipulation, a lot of like making us in a lot of ways like dumbed down through machinery. And so this kind of ties into that whole etheric implant conversation, this idea of like trying to mechanize the human species so that we're more malleable to manipulation and basically producing for other beings. Um, well, as we move closer and closer into the great central sun, um, this is going to become much less of a reality. And it's going to be the beings that hang on to a more mechanized way of life, a more electrical way of life that are going to find themselves perishing as a result of the great central sun. This isn't meant to be like a doom and gloom kind of Armageddon sort of thing. This is just the earth evolving and coming back into alignment. And so what the earth is going to do is anything that is out of alignment with her ascension is just not going to be here anymore. That doesn't mean that it's a punishment or anything like that. And death in itself is an illusion. So it doesn't mean that life ends, right? But life on this planet may end for some individuals. Um, if you are trying to build a future here for yourself and for future generations, like your bloodline, then you want to move more into the magnetic way of living, right? So uh, moving out of claiming yourself to be more of an electromagnetic individual and moving more into a magnetic frequency. This definitely requires aligning with the spiral and aligning with the earth, okay? Understanding that we are not the only beings who are ascending. The earth, the land has a consciousness and is ascending to and working in collaboration with the earth is going to be really supportive with embracing that magnetic lifestyle. Way back in the day in those ancient times, like the times of Lemuria, and then even way before then, there was way more of a communion between humans and the earth and the nature kingdoms. And that was very much essential to the thriving and the equilibrium of all beings involved. Somewhere along the way, humanity encountered a really large state of forgetfulness. And this is why we're seeing so much polarity and a lot of us versus them sort of patterning. Okay. And so we see that that's not really working out for us as a species. Um, we're seeing a lot of suffering that's really kind of unnecessary. So what we're seeing right now is the earth is cleaning house okay and so if you are seeking longevity for yourself and for your future bloodlines it's going to require a great deal of introspection clearing the programming that the society that raised you told you about how to engage with the world a lot of this was based upon maintaining their illusion and maintaining their sense of domination and control. This is why you're seeing like those 1% type folks um, starting to buy up land, uh, starting to even go underground because some of the beings who have been running this planet under these false structures are not going to be able to handle the magnetism of the great central sun.